This is a demonstration of the passive manual mobilization for forearm pronation on supination physiological movement. Especially to those patients after the wrist fracture, after the immobilization, we need to do that. So for forearm supination, we need to achieve the zero degree so the patient can hold the object normally, flattened position. Initially, we may want to do it in this way and turn into supination. But sometimes at the end, the last 5 10 degrees, you find that there are a lot of restriction from the inferior radial outer joint accessory movement. We can also do it in this way hold in the radius and all our two hands, or in this way and turn our body. Then we can do more facilitation in the accessory movement. So in doing elbow bend position, because to make sure the, there's no shoulder component to compensate. This is for supination. For pronation is similar, we can do it in here. Turn around and do the pronation mobilization. Also, can you use your, our hand to facilitate the inferior radial outer joint accessory movement if necessary. Now don't forget that the pronation and supination is a forearm movement. The last few degrees involve the superior radial outer joint as well. So sometimes you find the restriction is from the superior radial outer joint, we may change our hand to move here instead. We'll come back to supination. Most of the accessory movement on the superior radial outlet joint is from the radial head. So we can feel if any restriction from the radial head side, any restriction in accessory movement, we can facilitate that. This is the demonstration of the supination pronation mobilization.